Today, I'm going to talk about an important part of Affishan Academy's learning methodology, which may be new information for some parents. We call this our learning pathways, our road to help students achieve long-term success. Now remember, the purpose of Affishan programs is to enable students to achieve academic success in school by learning systematically and efficiently. For college admissions, while colleges do take into account factors like extracurriculars, leadership, etc., the most fundamental factor they consider is academic success in school. This is because it is the single best predictor of success in college. Now, what is academic success in school? It's mostly determined by course GPA and advanced coursework. Academic success in school is not a short-term goal. It can only be achieved by long-term commitment to goals. This includes building a solid foundation by filling in knowledge gaps, reaching an advanced level of coursework in school, and maintaining excellent results in these advanced classes. This is a typical math pathway that exists for middle and high schools. In the green track, students finish middle school with grade eight math, and students finish high school with pre-calculus. The orange track is one year faster than the green track. Students finish grade eight with algebra one. The blue track is two years faster than the green track. Students finish grade eight with geometry, take pre-calculus in grade 10, and AP calculus in grade 11, allowing them to apply to college with their AP calculus results. At some schools, students can take an even more accelerated path and take AP calculus in ninth or 10th grade, allowing them to take more advanced post AP classes in high school. This chart shows the math placement test and pathways for Saratoga Union School District. Saratoga is a city in the Silicon Valley. Students take the placement test during the second semester of fifth grade to determine which math track they enter in sixth grade. Two or three tests are used. To determine whether a student can get into the advanced 7B 8 class in grade 6, the student takes the end of year math test of 6, 7, 8, which includes material that is not taught in fifth grade. This means that students have to pre-learn the material outside of school to get onto the honors track. This also shows why it's important to start planning early on. Once these placement tests are taken and tracks are determined, it is hard to move up later on. Cupertino is another city in the Silicon Valley. You can see in grade eight, 44% of students are in the honors track. If you are not in the honors track or the fast track, you're actually behind. San Ramon is a city right next to the Silicon Valley. You can see that if a fifth grade student can pass the proficiency assessment on sixth grade content, then he can skip course one. If the fifth grade student can pass the proficiency assessment on seventh grade content, then he can skip course one and two. This again shows that students have to pre-learn the material to get onto the fast track. These are some sample high school course plans. For advanced students, the majority of their courses in high school are honors, AP, and post-AP honors. The first plan shows a student on the high honors track in math. At ninth grade, she took pre-calculus and also AP computer science. At 10th grade, she took AP calculus. The second plan shows a student on the honors track in math. In 11th grade, she took AP calculus. Why is it important to excel in advanced courses? In all public or private schools, especially in middle and high schools, there are advanced or honors tracks. Students in advanced or honors tracks are more competitive in college admissions. They demonstrate that they can succeed in advanced courses and qualify for AP Scholar Awards by the time they apply to college. They can also qualify for AP Calculus BC in 10th or 11th grade, which also allows them to take advanced science courses earlier, like AP Physics C. And by qualifying for AP Computer Science in 9th or 10th grade, they can then gain greater opportunities via programming-related internships, science projects, and summer camps. Efficient programs have unique advantages to help students excel in these advanced courses. First of all, it's an AI-empowered, highly efficient learning system that finds and works on students' individual needs, helping students learn three to five times faster than at school. It's designed for the long-term success of students so students are guided to build personal goals, and the program's learning pathways are designed to help students build a solid foundation, reach advanced tracks, and then maintain excellence in the advanced tracks. Efficient programs also offer individualized attention for each student. 
when students have difficulties self-learning, advisors are available to help. Advisors also help students set personal goals and stay on track to reach their goals. To give you a sense of our program's efficiency, here are some data we've collected from our students in efficient math. The table shows the median number of days and hours that students have taken to complete each grade. It shows that students typically complete each grade in two to four months, allowing them to move ahead in school and master advanced material ahead of their peers. This is the chart we use in efficient math to show different tracks. The horizontal axis is the school grade, the vertical axis is the math subject. So in the non-accelerated track, sixth grade students learn sixth grade math, seventh grade students learn seventh grade math, and so on. In the honors track, seventh grade students learn algebra one, two years ahead of the non-accelerated track. The honors track is aligned with middle and high school honors classes. AP Calculus BC is taken in the 11th grade. High honors is one grade level above honors. As we will see later, efficient students tend to move to higher tracks quickly and make good progress along advanced tracks. This is the honors chart for efficient English, very similar to the honors chart for efficient math. Now at efficient, we have a system for helping students make progress in their learning. We call it the learning pathway. A student generally goes through three stages in the learning pathway. The first stage is to build a solid foundation. Our diagnostic test determines the starting grade or the level that the student starts from. The student reviews the material and fills in knowledge gaps from previous years. This stage takes about a few weeks to a few months. The second stage is to reach the objective level. The students self-learn new material and advance to reach high honors or honors. Most students moved above what they learned in school classes. This stage is typically a few months. The third stage is to maintain excellence in the objective level the student achieves consistent progress in the honors or high honors track. This stage can be a few years and is especially important for the student's success. Often we see students who loosen up when they reach the advanced track, but then end up falling behind in their courses in school. So it is important to maintain consistent progress. This is an example of a student's progress path at efficient. The student goes through stage one, filling in gaps, stage two, reaching high honors, and stage three, progressing along the high honors track. This is another example of a student's progress path where they reach high honors and then progress along the high honors track. This is another example of a student's progress path where they reach honors and then progress along the honors track. Now, it is very important to set personal goals, which our advisors help students and parents do. Once the goals are set, they will be shown on students' efficient math or efficient English homepage to help them stay on track. These goals help students have a long-term perspective, visualize accomplishments and awards in a tangible way, and sustain continuous motivation. From our experience, we've seen that the best time to set goals is about one month after joining our program. At that time, the parent and student have some idea of our program, and we have a good sense of the student. In a meeting together, the student, parents, and advisor will review the student's progress and set goals for the next three to eight months. After that, we continue to have meetings to review the student's progress every four to six months or sooner if needed. We can predict student's progress because of our data analysis system, which uses data from thousands of previous students. This allows us to set attainable progress paths for each student. In our programs, in order to provide flexibility to students' schedules, we allow parents to set pauses. However, the pauses need to be planned cautiously because they have negative impacts. During pauses, learned material can be quickly forgotten. Without consistent practice, the student is less familiar with school material and therefore benefits less in school. And when students return to the program, they may need a new diagnostic test and study plan. Overall, pauses tend to result in lost progress and wasted time. So it is very important that students maintain consistency in their learning. Pauses, especially three weeks or longer, are highly discouraged. This is an example of the impact of a long pause on students' learning. This student had a very good start and excellent progress at the beginning. He started with grade four and quickly reached high honors. But after reaching high honors, instead of continuing to progress along the high honors track, he took a long pause. After he came back, he was not able to continue from where he was. 
he needed to catch up from previously learned material, dropped to a lower grade level, and wasted quite some time. We've noticed that the keys to success in efficient programs are the following, having a good attitude, or the desire to learn, and the will to overcome difficulties, good habits like carefulness, focus, and patience, which are very important for reaching high scores, and last but not least, consistency, having a long-term commitment to goals. So if students are successful in reaching and maintaining high honors or honors inefficient, they can expect many key advantages in school. They need less time to learn, review, and master material at school. They find it easier to maintain excellent grades. They are more likely to place into advanced classes and obtain prestigious school, internship, and summer opportunities. They have better chances of getting into their dream colleges, and they gain self-confidence and aspire for greater accomplishments, which will benefit them throughout their lives. In summary, efficient learning pathways are the road to long-term success. They help students systematically and efficiently fill in gaps, reach high honors, and excel in high honors. This way, students achieve and maintain consistent academic success. Thank you all for listening, and we wish all your kids the greatest success.